Isn't this just gorgeous? Man, I really love the way concrete looks. Have you seen anything more beautiful than this? Canada. Did you just talk? What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. Today, we're going to be tackling mechanism auto crafting. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see, and let's get started. Also, there's kind of a little special surprise that I set up, and, uh, you just, you know, you know, next playthrough video, you might want to, uh, keep your eyes peeled. So let's set this up just because I know how it's gonna be. These are the alloys that you have to make within mechanism, right? These are kind of annoying to make. You need a metallurgic infuser with some redstone inside of it, some iron, it'll give you some infused alloys. Well, that's kind of annoying to make. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna grab the recipe for the metallurgic infuser. We're gonna make sure that we want the system to know how to make all of these just in case it needs it. Grab the recipes for these two, stick them in here, and now we should be able to make a metallurgic infuser. About 10 of them, bam. There's 10 metallurgic infusers. Let's act like we're going to make a bunch of these infused alloys real quick. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to set this up where crafter is pointing at the item or the block that we want. So in this case, we wanted to point down or behind it if we can. And then we, you know, behind it would actually be kind of good looking to be honest with you. I'm gonna go ahead and put another infuser right here just so it's five and it's nice. So let's keep in mind that again, if we keep this same thought process where we have this chest here, instead of pointing the crafter directly at all of these and having five separate crafters. Let's not do that. So the way we can actually do this is pretty simple. First off, let's get some more recipes like the importers. That'd be a nice thing to have here. So just grab the recipe and teach you how to make cables as well. So we want the system to import from these guys, right? So what I'll do is I'll take like this and just we'll connect it to our system with some cables on the side here. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a couple of more of these upgraded chests, which is going to take me a little bit. So let's just go all the way to diamond, which I think we should be fine with. And now we can just place this chest up here. For this system, I'm actually going to want some exporters too. Professor, I'd toast. I'd toast enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the exporter recipe and we'll put it into our crafter. And there's a specific reason why I want exporters here. And the way I usually actually set this up is I set this up underneath it so it's a little bit prettier. So if I break this and we go down from here, I hate the auto step, man. I know it's on my, uh, it's on my like pants basically, but I hate it. I'm gonna stick this right here Oh man, the auto, ah! All right, we got an exporter in each one of these and the reason why is, well, it's pretty important. I'm gonna connect this. And then let's say I want this one right here to be my alloy smelter, right? Like I want this one to be redstone. So what I want here is I wanna actually give it redstone. We can give it a block of redstone or we can give it this enriched redstone. Maybe we make an enrichment chamber too while we're at it, which I actually think we have one. Boop. These all need power too, so that's kind of important. That's easy enough. What I can do here is I can place a pipe down right here, a flux point right here, set this to our network. And just so you know, you can take any wrench. Somebody told me this the other day, but I tested it. You can take a lot of different wrenches. You don't even need the pipe wrench. Just so you can make this, we're gonna upgrade this and then we're gonna run this along the front here. This is gonna look ugly for a little bit, but at least all of these things are gonna get power, which is important. And I want this one to get redstone. Right, so that's what I went and got this one for. So if I grab some redstone here and I put this in here and start letting this make some enriched redstone, it's going to be better for the system overall. So this is where some advanced crafting goes into because we want to teach our system how to make that enriched redstone. We wanted to know how to do this, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna grab a couple more recipes, but this time we're gonna get a crafting upgrade. So we're gonna come over here and grab this recipe right here. And I'm gonna grab the crafting table recipe because I don't think I got it before. And we're gonna need something called a regulator upgrade. This is important too. And just to make sure that it knows how to make the redstone comparator and it knows how to make some redstone torches. Shove all these in here. And as you see, we're adding up pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself five of these regulator upgrades. And I'll explain these here in a little bit. And then let's go ahead and make ourselves five crafting upgrades. So what I wanna do here, so I wanna come down here and I wanna say export this right here, enriched redstone. With this, we're gonna put a crafting upgrade and a regulator upgrade. So what the crafting upgrade does is it says, hey, 
if I know how to make this enriched redstone, let me make it, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna go ahead and go in the system somewhere to make it. If it doesn't know how to make it, it's not gonna do anything. It Like if it doesn't know how to make it and you don't have a crafting upgrade, even if it does know how to make it and it doesn't have a crafting upgrade, it won't know to make this to put this in here. The regulator upgrade allows you to determine how many of these enriched redstone will need to go into this to be able to fill it up or whatever. So if I put 64, it will always try to keep the system at 64 or this, this specific infuser at 64. I don't want that. I'm actually going to shift click this and we're going to do redstone for the time being because that this is going to take forever to make us a bunch. So what I'll do is I'll take and just to show you, I'll put in this redstone dust here, fill this up as much as I can here. If I grab some more redstone and I come over here and put some redstone in here like this, it'll automatically say to hold a stack and then it'll constantly put redstone dust in here until this machine right here gets to full. Inside of the side config, make sure you come in here and you wanna go at the bottom, you see how it's set to extra yellow? That's how it knows where to get the side item from. So for example, in this case, the side part is redstone. I don't know what the exact word for it is, but whatever you're, in, I guess the infusing material, that's how it knows to do it. And my system is gonna constantly pump redstone into here until it hits 64. So that way, whenever I'm crafting something with this, it will automatically refill it to keep it full of the redstone, which is pretty cool. All right. Now for the cool part. We're gonna place this down right underneath it if it'll go down. So let's talk about this system for a second. The way I wanted to set this up would maximize the potential speed that this crafter has because it puts it directly into a chest. So the problem with that is the fact that if I wanted to, this one, to specifically make myself some redstone alloy, if I set this all up, I'd have to make it where I had a chest for each one of these infusers or whatever and that would make it a whole lot faster, which I do want to do. So basically I would have to have a chest for each one of these and a netherite crafter for each one of these as well, which I guess I don't really mind to have the faster ones, but let's do the netherite upgrade. This one right here. Let's do this one for this right above here. So I'm gonna place this right here. And then from here, we'll put the chest. We'll put in our infused alloy in there recipe. And then we're gonna need a pipe going down. From here, we can pull just like this but we're also gonna need power to each of these. But for now, this should be okay, except for we have to have importers in the front. And then we wanna make sure that the sides are set up. So we wanna input from the top, output in front of it, and then get the extra in the bottom. And I can actually just put some power in the back just to hide it and make it look a little bit prettier. All right, now everything should be getting power. Let's go ahead and test by making us some alloys. So let's go ahead and make ourselves 64 of these, which is just 64 iron and then click it. It should put it in this chest. This should input everything, which I actually need to put a pipe upgrade in there. And this is slow. This is gonna be really slow, but this will automatically make it where it'll say, hey, we made ourselves an infused alloy. So now we have this basic setup going, which is nice. Just to recap how I have this set up. The crafter is just pointed into a chest to get maximum speed of being able to output into the chest. Then this outputs into this infuser here. This will pull it into the system and then it will output via the importer here. It gets its redstone from underneath. Underneath here, we see this exporter right here that says, hey, I want to export redstone and I want to make sure that I regulate it to keep 64 redstone in there so that it never runs out of redstone and stays full. And it's always got redstone to be able to use this, which is really nice. This gives us a basic system to be able to make us a bunch of the basic things for mechanism. Now with this specific chest, I can actually hit you here and look at all the things that redstone plus an item makes. So like the basic control circuit, and then I can just get the recipes for those real fast, put it in here. And now I can make a basic control circuit. So if I wanted to say, I want 64 of these, make me 64 of these, it'll put the osmium in here. And then once this is upgraded and once this is done, it'll make us some more. Cool. But with this idea, we can actually make all the way down on all the different kinds of things. We make the reinforced alloy if we set one up for diamond, and then we can set the atomic alloy up if we set one up for refined obsidian, which we're gonna go ahead and do. So how are we gonna set this up so where it doesn't actually intertwine like this? You know, cause that's gonna be annoying, right? If we just put another ultimate pipe right here, it's gonna automatically mess up. I don't wanna do that. First thing I wanna do, grab some diamonds down here and then set this back up. We can do the extra stuff a little bit later, but for right now, we're just gonna put a regulator upgrade in here and we're gonna set this to 64. Oh, that's right. You got to get diamond dust to be able to do that. So we will have to enrich it. So let's just go ahead and take this out of here. You can hold shift 
control and shift to do that. And then we can come over here and enrich us some diamonds here. So let that start working. I don't know if this is, this has power, right? Okay, it does. Then we'll take some enriched diamond over here. We'll come down underneath it. And then we'll put the enriched diamond in here. And we'll want to put a crafting upgrade in here. So that way it says, okay, I if I know how to craft it, I'll craft it first. So let me go ahead and put the enriched di diamond in here. And then what I'll do for now is I'll come over here and I'll grab myself another crafter here. And we're gonna set this up exactly how I have it set up already. Already. We'll just put the crafter facing down just like this across the board. Well, almost across the board. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves another couple of these netherite crafters. All right, netherite crafter going down right here. And then we need more chests. Okay, diamond chest. And just because this is an item pipe, I'll just stick the last item pipe I have right here. Make it easy. We'll stick in our advanced pipe upgrade. And then we'll give this recipe here in a second. What I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to come over here and type in enriched and then I'll just get the enriched itemed. Like I'll get all of the enrichment recipes here. So that way our system will know how to craft all of this, except for the enriched gold and enriched tin. We don't need those two. We can just come over here, throw these in here. And now the system will know how to enrich us some diamonds. We'll also need an importer in the front of this too. Bam. And then we'll want to configure this same thing. What I like to do is I like to clear, click this button at the bottom. So that way I can actually say input, output, and then that's, this one doesn't need the other thing. And then we can just do auto eject. It doesn't need the extra. So just input, output, make it simple. And then you can do this to each one of these if you want to. The key point of this is to make it where it's easier for you to track how things work. Because if all of these are set up wrong, it's gonna have, a, you're gonna have some problems. So the way I have this set up, input at the top, output in the front, extra on the bottom. And this one's gonna be our diamond. We see that this is already full. We can do the same thing here. We're gonna grab this enriched redstone that we have out of here. And then instead of redstone here, again, control shift click, we'll put this in and then click it and set it to 64. So that way it knows to craft it. Just because we don't have everything like sped up, we'll set it to one. So now let's set this up across the board. So the cool thing I could do is I could like go back and forth through this. So for example, I can put an item pipe here and then a universal pipe beside it and then item, universal, item, right? How cool is that? And then we just make sure we pump out of the tops here. And there, we have a kind of cool little automated setup so far. We'll need to put this, like fix this on the bottom. But most importantly, while we're setting all this up, let's go ahead and grab the recipes for each of these. So here is the reinforced alloy, and then we'll need the atomic alloy. We'll do the advanced portion of this where we need the enriched or refined obsidian because you're actually going to need a refined obsidian for this one. So you need refined obsidian dust, which you're gonna actually need a metallurgic confuser with diamond in here. We can actually grab this recipe as well, which needs obsidian dust, which we'll need to crush some dust, or we could do it with an enrichment chamber. So let's just do that. So we'll come over here to our enrichment chamber. We'll stick this in here and that'll teach it how to make obsidian dust. And then we need our diamond one right here. We want it to learn how to make the infused alloys plus the obsidian dust into refined obsidian dust. That's important too. And before we go any crazier on here, I do want to make these things to upgrade them. So if I come over here and I type in, let's type in speed upgrades for now. Let's just work from there. If we get this speed recipe going, that will make it where we can auto craft everything except for the osmium dust. There's also one more upgrade and that's the energy upgrade right here, which is this gold dust. So I'm gonna put these two in here. And then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and grab all of this gold out of here, a couple stacks of gold here. And then I'm gonna grab some osmium as well couple of stacks here. And then from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and crush these things down with my ore hammer. And then now I should be able to request uh, some speed upgrades. Come over here, click here, do 64. Can I make 64? I can, but that's gonna have to craft some enriched redstone and then it's gonna have to craft 103 of these infused alloys. But if we look closely, it already made us 13, which I can use to upgrade this. So there's two ways you can upgrade this. You can take and stick it in this top slot right here or in the world, you can shift right. Oh, in the world, you can shift right click it like this and it'll just automatically install it in there. Do keep in mind though, that you have to be able to make more power or enough power to actually power this. The machine will constantly bug in and out if it can't get enough power. And that's what the energy upgrades are for. So we wanna make this faster. We can make something called a tier installer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the recipes for these because these are kind of expensive recipes. As you see, we're gonna need things like advanced control circuits. And then we have this right here, which we're going to need elite control circuits. And then we have the ultimate tier installer. 
which we're gonna need for ultimate control circuit. So all of these go in here and then I can come over here and type in basic tier installer. See if we can craft this, we can. So with this, craft any tier of installer to upgrade your factories in place. So now I can just right click or shift right click and this will upgrade this to have more than one slot, which is cool. And it's keeping up to it, see? But now we need some speed upgrades and stuff into this. So I think it already made our speed upgrades, didn't it? It did, cool. And with this, we can upgrade the rest of these. Now let's see if we can get all of the tier installers that we need. See if we can make five of these basic ones. We did, sweet. So now we can upgrade each of these. You do want to go in here and make sure you turn on auto sort on each one of these. So that way it uses all three of the channels instead of one. Okay, so we have the first two set up with diamond and everything. I believe now we can make ourselves some refined obsidian dust because now we can take that refined obsidian dust. We should be able to make us enriched obsidian dust here. So enriched obsidian, let's make five of these. There's one, that's all we need for now because now we can set this one up so that it can be our refined obsidian one. So if we come over here, shove this in here, we put one of the crafting upgrades in here, just one and a regulator upgrade. Now it will try to keep one in here as much as it can. And it will also craft it if it doesn't have it. So we should start seeing some refined obsidian dust coming over here. These are all max upgrades. You only need eight per machine, but it's gonna come over here, make it here. Come over here and make it here. Pretty cool. Problem is, is we are limited by these crafters being regular crafters. So make you some netherite crafters and replace them. Just make sure you put the right thing in the right place. So like this one takes these two, I believe. This one goes here. Cool thing about this now. So if I come over here and I want that, the advanced tier installer, which is the next one, it should know how to make everything to make this. So if I wanted to upgrade all six of these items down here, I type in six, it'll go ahead and try and make all of them. Did it already make all of them? Oh, it made one of them, two of them, three, four, five, six. Cool. So now we can do the same thing. Shift click these to upgrade them all to the next tier and auto sort is on on these. This just makes these faster and better over time. So I wonder if we can go to the next tier upgrade, which is the elite tier installer. And I click five and make five. Let's see how fast it makes these five. We are limited to how fast this is, but look, it was running out of energy for a second. So we're gonna need some energy upgrades on these. Did it craft all of those elite tier installers already? It did, cool. I need one more actually. Okay, so pew, 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 pew. And now let's see if I can make the ultimate tier installers. There it is. Can I, is it gonna craft all five of them and will it craft it well? This is decently fast. It's keeping up. It put all of the items in here. It's uh, keeping up with the redstone, thankfully. If it ever gets messed up, you can always come over here and look to see if it's actually making it or not. Sometimes it'll get hung up and you just have to click cancel to cancel it all out because it's trying to make other things. Like this one is messed up for whatever reason because this output looks a little messed up. So let's go make sure we get that enriched, oh, the enriched redstone right here. Well, let's make sure we get the proper recipe for this because it looks like it wasn't making the proper recipe. So now let's see if it'll do it. Come over here and look, 64, there it goes. Now it's trying to do it. So if I come over here and I type in enriched redstone, click here, click 64, click start, it should overload the system over here shove it all into this, which it is, as much as it can, as we see here as it's importing. And I think it's actually limited. Oh yeah, it's limited because that pipe isn't fully upgraded. Now that's much better. And now we just need to upgrade the speed upgrades for each of these. So the last final thing is making enriched carbon. So that way we can make ourselves steel. So I'm gonna get me some coal out of here. I'm gonna come over here and put the coal inside of here. So that way I can go ahead and make me some rich carbon. And then I'm gonna actually set up the enriched carbon under here. Again, regulator upgrade, crafting upgrade. And then this way we can make sure that inside of here, it will get enriched carbon, which is good. And we can leave this other one for right now. You can make it enriched carbon as well, but we wanna grab two recipes. First up, we wanna type in at mech steel, and then let's get these recipes. The first recipe we're gonna grab is the steel dust recipe right here. This goes for our furnace. We want the steel dust recipe, so you could use some kind of ore hammer, or we're gonna make ours using the infuser here. So we're gonna grab this recipe right here, which it looks like we're out of patterns. Let's see if we got any more patterns in here, we do. And then now I wanna make this enriched iron, which is just iron plus some enriched carbon. So you can come in your crafting manager here and look, we got diamond chests. You can rename these if you wanted to. I guess you could probably name them a little bit you name the crafter itself, which is probably right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in here. So this is gonna be for our steel dust right here into steel. And then I'm gonna come over here into this 
crafter right here. We're going to go into this crafter and then we're going to put the enriched iron and the steel dust in here. And then now I need to make myself some upgrades. So now we can just upgrade each of these so they're much faster. And there we go. That's all upgraded. We're going to need a bunch of speed upgrades or you could just make the elite importers, which we could do that too. So if I type in importer here, let's just grab the recipes for these ultra importer elite importer and we already have the importer recipe put these in here we type in ultra importer it looks like we already have an ex exporter let's type in six and we're missing some blocks of iron we could teach it to make some more of these if we wanted to but that's fine so these actually work pretty fast as it is and there's our six ultra importers let's get hold of this break all of that and then put all these in front of them and there we go now we have some super fast importers and this should actually work fairly fast. Now we can close this ugly hole off on the bottom down here. We kind of need to cover up that too, don't we? Yeah, we have automated refined storage stuff for mechanism specifically, but we could also do this for even more. So let's go ahead and make, we just go ahead and make ourselves like three more of these netherite crafters. And then we can just stick two of them right here for right now. And now we have room for a bunch of crafting upgrades. We can actually put some speed upgrades in here to make it even faster. If we throw the speed upgrades in here, now it's 200 times the speed, but look at that. That's all it takes. And we have an automated mech system right here as well. And we're going to definitely add some more stuff to this. This is this is not on, this is not the last of what we're going to do. I promise. We've got a lot more to go. Like we need the crusher. We're going to need some other things from thermal, but this is just to kind of get your feet wet on how to automate some of this stuff for, especially for mechanism. And I knew this was going to be mostly just crafting, but I just wanted to show you guys how I would set something like this up. Well, see, now I want to make all this pretty because I don't think it's pretty right now. Let's make it all pretty. How would I make it pretty, you ask? Well, we definitely need to put some stuff in the walls. And there we go. Much cleaner, much nicer. Cables are all hidden in the walls. And I think our cable management is a lot better. So yeah, this is pretty nice. This looks pretty cool. It's pretty clean. I like the actual way this just kind of goes from universal to an item pipe over and over. I like that. All of the cables are hidden behind everything, but it still allows me to craft and everything, which is it's pretty cool. I put the receiver over here in between this and this can be our wall. Otherwise, I really like the way this little room came out to be. I think we need a little bit more decoration on the sides over here and it's going to take some experimenting with some blocks. Otherwise, I think this looks great. And Body's already made himself at home. Guys, this will wrap it up for today's episode of All the Mods 8. Hopefully, this wasn't as confusing. I know this wasn't as exciting of an episode because we just spent most of our time in a crafting grid. You know what? This is setting us up to make a really exciting video. I'm really excited for my next video with all about power and comparing different power things. And I wanted to set this up. Man, he's really just kind of just stuck in there, ain't he? I wanted to set this up so that way we could actually come up with some really, really cool things and I get to show you guys everything. But we'll do that next episode. It's been super hectic with the work that I've been doing, but I actually am really excited to put some more videos out. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to let me know. I really, really, really enjoyed. Oh, now you want to come out of here, buddy. I really, really enjoy seeing those comments where you guys talk about, hey, Alfred, you know, you're an amazing content creator. I literally sat in my bed the other day other day and cried i was like bro just y'all just the comments just made me so emotional buddy can you get out of my face i just wanted to say thank you guys i really appreciate all the support and as always i'll see you guys on the next episode Bye!